So you think you're too young to program? Or too old for that matter? Check out this little program I do with my second graders. It's the first program I teach them. Let's make that cat dance. Boom! <laughs> Like I said, this is the first program I do with my students, generally about second grade, so seven years old. And it's an animation of a dancing cat. You click the flag and the cat starts to dance and doesn't stop until you tell it to. We're going to explore the weight command, the control block, movement, obviously, and we gotta have some sound because the cat needs music to dance to. All right, the dancing cat. To create this animation, we're going to need seven blocks. From the events, we're gonna need the flag click. From control, we're gonna use the forever loop and the wait command. From motion, we're gonna to need to move the cat forward and back. From looks, we're going to use next costume, costume change to create animation. And from sound, we're going to play the drums. Let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is name our program. So real simple, we're going to name it Dancing Cat. We need to start an animation with an event, which will be a flag click. So we go to events. I like to refer to these things as hats because they always go on top and nothing ever goes on top of them. In an animation, we want it to run the whole time the program's running. And in order to do that, we go to our control group and get a forever loop. We want it to keep happening forever. Forever means until the red stop sign is clicked. The first thing we want to do is move our cat forward. And this would be the move command. And of course, we're going to find the move command in motion. 10 steps refers to 10 pixels. If I double click this, you'll see the cat move what is called 10 steps. That's not all that much, right? So I'm going to actually make it move 100 steps. Double click. All right, so now it moves a little bit forward. So let's check that out again. Double click. Good. To make it go backwards, we want to do the opposite of 100. The opposite of 100 is minus 100. So I'm going to get another move command and put in minus 100. Now when I double click that, I move back, forward, back. So now when I put it together, if I put this in my forever loop and I click the flag, the cat will move back and forth. This yellow ring around the script shows that it's running. Why isn't the cat moving? Ah, but the cat is moving really fast, very fast, too fast for you to see. Computers can go much faster than the human brain. We got to slow this down. So how we, we need to control it, slow it down. So we're going to go to control. And we're going to get the wait command. We want to establish a pattern. So we have blue, and then orange, blue, orange. So now we slow the cat down. Well, now we want to make him kind of shuffle his feet like he's dancing a little bit. So if you look at the very top costumes, you can see that the cat has two costumes. And we're going to switch back and forth from one costume to the other to give the illusion of dancing. So we go back to scripts. To do that, we go into our looks section. And we're just going to get the next costume command. And we're going to add to our pattern, blue, orange, purple, blue, orange, purple. Now he's dancing. Now you can't ask a cat to dance without playing a little music. So what we're going to do from sounds is use the play drum command. So we're going to, again, add to our pattern. Blue, orange, purple, we'll call this pink. Blue, orange, purple, pink. We have sound. 
I'm going to go turn the sound off. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. My sound is off, but yours is probably running. You could stop your script if you want. Now, from the drums, we can pick from this pull down whatever kind of drum you want to hear. I'm a fan of the vibra slap, I got to tell you. Let's do a little triangle. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I got sound now. I'm back. Hit the flag. Well, our cat's dancing, but way too slow. Now, I'm not into slow dancing, so let's speed it up a little bit. And the way we would speed it up is by waiting a little less. So less than one would be a decimal point. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do point, which is the same as a period on the keyboard. Decimal point three. Point or period decimal point three. And now I'm going to look at the cat. Much better, much better. Stop it. Now he's off the screen, so I'm just going to drag him. Eventually we'll place him where we want him. All right, now it's time to set the scene. And we do this with our stage. So down here at the left-hand side of your screen, you see your stage. And it's just a white background. Click on it. All right, then we're going to go to Backdrops. And we're going to get a new backdrop. This first icon will take you to the library. We click on that. We're going to go to the Music and Dance theme. Any one of these backgrounds will do. I'm going to pick the streets of Berkeley, California. Now I'm going to drag the cat where it makes sense for him to be. Go full screen. Click the flag and watch the cat dance. Nice job, guys. Comments, questions, let me know. Like what you like. Subscribe if you haven't. Mm -hmm.